Hey everybody! Well, today we're going to take a look at these amazingly cute and adorable Garfield figures. Oh my gosh! So, uh, I love Garfield. I have been reading that comic strip since it first started. The amazing and talented Jim Davis does the Garfield comics. And, uh, you know, he's changed a lot over the years. If you look at some original older Garfield comic strips, he looks so much different than he does now. Over the years, Jim Davis has tweaked his appearance and made him look cuter and cuter as time went on. And he, this is kind of where we're at now. So we just had the Garfield movie that just came out a few months ago. I'm making this video in the September 3rd of 2024. And uh, there's two really moving scenes in that movie where we get to see Garfield as a little kitten, as a little baby. And oh my gosh, he is so cute in this movie. When he's a little baby and the movie is great i you know i love those kind of things uh and the movie is fantastic but those scenes with garfield as a baby is my gosh they're just a couple of tear jerker moments but he is so cute i mean they could not have made him any more cuter than he is so these figures here are uh from that you know those scenes now i had a hard time finding these things you know you can see there's different sizes this is the smaller one this one's really large, and this one's probably about medium size, and I was not expecting those two to be as big as they were when I ordered these. I found these on Etsy, and they're not the easiest things to find. So here you can kind of see <laughs> the way they look on the back. Oh, they're so cool. Now, I'm not exactly sure if these are just meant to be figures, if they're meant to be cake toppers. I really don't know, but let's take a look at them individually. All right, so let's start with the smallest one first here. Now, <laughs> oh my gosh, I cannot believe how cute he is. He is absolutely adorable. I mean, look at this. Now, um, this, I believe, is is based on the scene at the beginning of the movie where, uh, you know, we see Garfield as a baby twice in the movie, and there are two moving scenes. And the first time we see him, it's Garfield's perspective of what happened. He thinks that he's abandoned, and we don't know who abandoned him. It's kind of left in, in the shadow. Now, this is uh, a scene where he's left in the little crate, the wood crate, and he kind of does these cute little things with his front feet, and it's really cute the way he does it, and they really captured the look of him perfectly. The eyes, his little uh, mouth, you know, the way they, that Jim Davis draws that. He's got a little, his little toe beans here, his famous stripes on the ears, the way they did that, and the way they do the, uh, the lines here, the hash, hash marks that uh, Jim Davis does when he's drawing him. Now, this is a very solid thing. I mean, this thing is solid resin. There's no markings on the bottom, so it doesn't say who makes these. But you can see how cute he is. Oh my gosh, it's amazing how cute he is. All right, let's take a look at the medium size one. Okay, now this one's a lot bigger, as you can see here. <laughs> oh my gosh. And so I think that's the lasagna, I guess. Maybe that's what that's supposed to be. But once again, uh, the paintwork on this is so good. Now, this one is, it feels a little lighter than the small one, interestingly. So, it's probably got some hollow stuff going on in there. I'm not really sure what this material is. Maybe it's plastic. Maybe it's resin. It feels solid, though. It feels more solid than just plastic. It's some kind of molded material. But the paintwork, once again, is fantastic. His striping on the back. Look at that. I love his tail. <laughs> uh, he's so cute. I always love the way Jim Davis draws his little jowls. It's interesting. It's like this big yellow thing that usually comes around and kind of curls at the end. But as a baby, he looks like that when they draw him. Very well done. All right, let's look at the big one. All right, now this one I think is my favorite one, not just because of the fact that it's bigger, but in the scene <laughs> uh, when John first kind of, you know, they first meet, at the very end of the scene of the beginning where it's Garfield's perspective of what happened, John is holding him in the palm of his hand. And I bet he's about actual size right here, if I can move the camera back. This is about actual size when they show Garfield in John's hand. And that's what's so cool about this. But he's got that look. He's got this really sweet and innocent look on his face when John is holding him. And oh, man, it is just so cute. But you can see, <laughs> once again, great paintwork on the eyes, his little feet, the way he's sitting there. Here's the side view of him. You know, his head is bigger than his body, so that's what makes him look cute as well. These are really cool, the way they did this striping. You can, it, it's like uh, textured. You can actually feel the texturing on there. Oh, it's, it's awesome. He's got these little hairs at the top, the ear, 
uh, section there. Oh my gosh, so cute. So once again, there's no markings on the bottom. I don't know who makes these. I wish I knew who made them. And I've tried looking around for these figures. I, lo I looked up baby Garfield uh, figures and they're not the easiest things to find. Oh my gosh, I just love him. So as I mentioned, I got these from a seller on Etsy. Uh, they, now the seller had, uh, I think three or four different versions. Well, they had at least four different versions of it. The only one I didn't buy is the one that shows Garfield riding the back of Odie, like in the scene where he's riding Odie's back. I didn't buy that one. And I think that's the only one they have left. Um, I think the seller only had one of these. So, you know, I don't know why we can't get these kind of things in the United States. It seems like a lot of this stuff is only available in like Hong Kong or Asian countries. And I will say when I was a little kid, we got to go to Japan and they had some of the coolest stuff there. And this is a long time ago. And they had stuff there that we don't get here. And it's kind of frustrating. Now, I'm sure it's probably just because of import reasons or maybe they just, I mean, like maybe they can't make everything and send it here. But when it comes to unique stuff like this, it's hard to find this stuff. And so I did find some other figures that look very similar to these and they may be the exact same ones. I don't know. And I, I saw those on AliExpress. So you might be able to find them on there. But, uh, you know, I think since the movie's been out for a while, maybe the mer merchandising is, dry, is uh, dying off. I didn't go see the movie when it was in the theaters. Um, I don't know why. I, I should have went and saw it. I guess I'm not really much into going to see movies these days. So I, I went and bought the Blu-ray because uh, it just came out a, a week or so ago as of the making of this video. But uh, as soon as I saw Garfield in the baby Garfield look, I was like, oh my gosh, I've got to get a baby Garfield because <laughs> he's so cute. He's so cute in the movie. So all three of these are perfect. I love the way they turned out. So uh, you're going to have to search around and see if you can find these little guys. I, like I said, I don't know who makes them. There's no manufacturer on them, unfortunately. But boy, are they spot on. They are spot on to the look of Garfield. You know, usually when you get these things, they're a little off somehow, maybe the way they look or something. But these look exactly like he did in the movie. It's really well done. I don't know if these are um, licensed. I don't see any kind of licensing thing on it. But AliExpress is probably your next best bet. Uh, you can check um, Etsy and see if there's anybody on there. But once again, I said, you know, like I mentioned, I, I just couldn't, they're hard to find. They're really hard to find these. All right. Well, anyway, that's it for this video. I just wanted to share these with you because they are so cute. Oh my gosh, look at him. <laughs> All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. I'd very much appreciate it. And until the next video, I will see you then. So thank you so much for watching and have a good one.